Outline of the Course on the Acts of the Magisterium From the way he had arranged his files in his office, which he personally had labeled, the intention of Archbishop Lefebvre was clear. He had meant them to benefit his priests. All the documents were in order. When I am gone, he said, they will find all the documents they need here. That is how Bishop Tissier de Malaret found the outline which the Archbishop had drafted when he chose to give the seminarians in their year of spirituality a series of classes in which he would comment on the acts of the magisterium of the popes who had condemned the modern errors. On the whole, he remained faithful to his plan, though he could not always adhere rigorously to the outline which he had sketched, and several times he would come back to a point raised in a previous class in order to reinforce his argumentation or refresh the memory of his students. The following is the outline established by Archbishop Lefebvre. School Year, 1979-1980 why devote this course to the magisterium of the church, and especially to the magisterium of the sovereign pontiffs of the last three centuries? Because all the popes in succession during these three centuries, until Pope Pius XII inclusively, have never ceased to proclaim the truth and to condemn the modern errors which are poisoning souls and societies. Present here the words of Pope Pius IX at the beginning of his encyclical letter, Quanta Cura, the Syllabus, the Catalogue of Modern Errors. The importance of this course. Modern errors so infect the atmosphere we breathe that even the best of the Church's faithful are contaminated. The mindset resulting from the secularization of society, religious indifferentism, and liberalism in every domain is such that we have had a hard time receiving the truth in its integrity, truth that comes to us by sound philosophy and the Catholic faith. The voice of the popes is heard just when we need it, in order to remind us of the principles that must direct our life and our activity if we are to merit eternal life. And with keen insight, this same voice denounces the obstacles placed in our path by the enemy i.e. Satan, and enemies, i.e. his instruments, of our Lord Jesus Christ and his reign. The purpose of this course is not so much a systematic study of the errors, but a guided tour of the encyclicals themselves, especially those in which the popes made an in-depth study of the truths denied by these errors, or gave a detailed analysis of the errors themselves. One cannot but admire the zeal and faith of these vigilant guardians of the deposit of faith, and one is all the more stupefied upon remarking how this relentless combat was suddenly abandoned for the sake of compromise with all the promoters of these errors, and with their successors, by means of a false ecumenism, which is a betrayal of truth. The program of this course is thus sketched in its general outline, but for a better understanding of the thinking and teaching of the popes, we shall begin by grouping their writings under several headings. First, the magisterium dealing with the secret societies. This is an impressive study which discloses the causes, the social mechanism where these errors are refined and diffused throughout the world. The list of these documents. Number one. The letter Quo Graviora of Pope Leo XII of March 13, 1826, which includes the documents of his predecessors In Eminenti of Clement XII, April 26, 1738, Providas of Benedict XIV, March 16, 1751, Ecclesiam of Pius VII, September 13, 1821. Number two. Qui Pluribus of Pius IX, November 9, 1846. Quibus Quantisque, on the occupation of Rome, 
Nostis et Nobiscum, Syllabus, Chapter 4. Number 3. Humanum Genus, April 20th, 1884, of Leo Thirteenth. Number 4. Canon Law 2335. Biblical Studies, Inter Precipuas, Gregory the Sixteenth. Second, the important documents condemning liberalism with special attention given to those of Leo the Thirteenth. Number one, Libertas Prestantissimum of Leo the Thirteenth, June twentieth, eighteen eighty eight. Number two, Mirari Vos of Gregory the Sixteenth, August fifteenth, eighteen thirty two. Number three, Quanta Cura of Pius the Ninth, December eighth, eighteen sixty four. Number four, Immortale Dei of Leo the Thirteenth, November first, eighteen eighty five. Number five, Inscrutabili, April twenty first, eighteen seventy one. Number six, Quod Apostolici, December eighteenth, eighteen seventy eight. Number 7. Letter on the Sion by St. Pius X, August 25, 1910. Number 3. Documents condemning modernism. Number 4. Documents condemning socialism and communism. Oh.